Hi, this is Mike Fauche, and in today's video, we're going to look at a new USB 4 Thunderbolt 3 SSD enclosure from Fidaco. That has an interesting clamshell configuration, making it really simple to change out the SSD, and it comes equipped with a very quiet active cooler. If you want to find out more about this device, then stick around for the rest of this video. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications icon if you find this video useful, as it really does help support the channel. Full disclosure, Fidico did send me this device so that I can make this review, but they haven't paid for or influenced this in any way. The results and opinions are my own, and they'll be seeing this video for the first time just as you are. Let's talk about the device specs and the hardware. The MT405F is a tool-free 40 gig USB 4 Thunderbolt 3 NVMe enclosure that supports up to an 8TB SSD. In the box, you get the user's guide, some rubber plugs to hold down the SSDs, but you only need those if you're using the smaller drives such as the 2230s or the 2242s. You get a USB cable and of course the device itself. Looking at the top of the device you can see the active cooler which we'll cover later in the video. Looking at the back of the device is primarily all heat sinking and you have the USB 4 40 gig port on one end. The device itself is significantly smaller than other units I've reviewed in the past for example, comparing it to the enclosures such as the Zyke drive, you can see how small and compact this unit is. The device has a clamshell approach, which I really like, and the SSD mounts to the bottom of the device. It has a clip that locks in the SSD in place as long as you're using a 2280 size SSD. If you're using a smaller one, you have to use one of the included rubber clips that hold down the drive. Just push the drive into the connector and push it down to lock it in place. Now that we've installed the drive, let's test it out to see how it performs. I'll compare it to the performance of a recent review of the Acasis TBS 405 Plus. This is actually a Thunderbolt 5 device, but I'll test it on the same Thunderbolt 4 Mac Studio that I'll be using on the Fidico MT405 to see how it performs. Though Thunderbolt 5 is capable of faster speeds, when it's run on Thunderbolt 4, the bus will be saturated, so the Acasis will not have any serious advantages. Looking at the black magic results, we can see that both of these perform almost identically on my Mac Studio, despite the cases costing more. Both have read and write speeds of around 3100 megabytes per second. The fact that I'm getting these speeds from the Fidico on a sub $80 device is pretty impressive. Moving over to the Amorphous Disk Mark, again we can see that the MT405F flexes its muscles and keeps up with the cases, completely saturating the bus performance. As I mentioned, the Fidico easily rivals the fastest USB 4 Thunderbolt enclosure I've tested to date, including the Hyperdrive and Zyke Drive, and costs significantly less than these devices. Lastly is the fan noise. This is the area that typically gives me the most grief as I don't really like active cooling, but I gotta say this one surprised me a little bit. Um, looking at the sound measurement, the active cooler doesn't add much to the noise level, though I can hear it when I get very close to it, it was barely audible under normal conditions and it's by far the quietest of the devices with active cooling I've tested. So in summary, I'm really impressed with this device. It gives me top-notch performance at a really competitive price. For sub $80, it's hard to beat this kind of performance. It has the cooling benefits of active cooling with minimal to none of the drawbacks typically found on competitors' devices. The fan noise is pretty quiet and is more than acceptable under normal conditions, making it far quieter than other devices I've tested. I wanted to thank the team at Fidico for sending me this device and making this review possible. I'll leave some links in the description should you want to check this out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notifications icon if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.